okay great hope all are doing great and yes so i have started with this revision video sessions for your ca foundation which is happening in the month of september so now the important topic for today is a mathematical topic that is a time value of money that you have an important contribution in the entire mathematics section and most of you people find difficult to remember because of a lot of formulas being involved in it so today what i am going to do is to do it without formulas yes you heard me right how to do it without formulas using the pure logic and you will be able to get the solutions within 30 seconds max so this is what we are going to learn today so stay tuned with me and you will learn the tricks on in case if you're coming to the channel for the first time I'm Lakshman, a lead trainer at Learn Group. So here we are trying to help out people with different competitive exam, which includes CA Foundation 2. And I teach people for mathematics. In case if you are planning to join for the CA Foundation preparation, you can just call us the number given below in the description or in the comment section, or you can just ping us your details and we will just contact you back and help you out with your preparation. Hope this session is valuable and you find it interesting, helps you in your exams, that is more than sufficient for us. End of the day, your results matter to us. Okay, so without any wasting any time, let us get into the topic and let me just explain you certain basic concepts. Okay, first, okay. Not, uh, let us not start with the question directly, but let us understand basic idea about what is this and how it works. When I tell the concept like simple interest, okay, when I tell simple interest, many people think, okay, sir, it's easy, what is there, what is there, very easy concept, I can do it, yes, you can do it. Now imagine that you have rupees 100 in your pocket, okay, and you want to invest it in a bank, the bank will tell boss, I will give you 10% interest, rate of interest. Rate of interest, bank will tell you, I will give you 10%. Okay, you will be very happy. Okay, last time getting 10%. Now, in the end of one year, imagine, one year, the time duration. End of one year, what will you get? Sir, you will tell very easy, sir, what is that? 100 plus 10% of 100 is 10 rupees. That is nothing but 110 rupees. 110 rupees. This is what is the basic idea, sir? Wonderful. Now what you will tell, sir, since the bank is giving you 10%, no, I want to keep it for another year or so. Okay, enjoy. Now what will happen? The same 100 rupees will stay in the bank. Whatever you invested is 100 rupees only, no? It is not going to increase. Same 100 rupees will be in the bank. Okay, this year also I will give you 10%. Keep it. For which year? Second year. So what will the last final amount become? 120 will become sir 10 rupees first year 10 rupees second year so total 120 rupees Perfect. now the initial amount whatever you invest in the bank is called as what principal very good principal amount okay principal amount this is nothing but the rate of interest or this is nothing but the time period time p and this end thing is nothing but amount, amount, right? Now, what you're getting over here, sir, simple interest, very good. Simple interest, you're getting simple interest, no doubt in there. Okay. If you're getting simple interest, let me just put it in this place also. Let me see what you're telling, right? So now, let me tell the rate of interest is 10%. I am investing for a span of 1 year. Rate of interest is 8%. I am investing for a span of 4 years. Rate of interest is 10%. Investing for a span of 2 years. Rate of interest is around 4%. Investing for a year, 
span of seven years. Seven years. Okay. First one, second one, third one. Now what will you tell? Okay, sir. What is that? So now R is given to me, sir. Time is given to me, sir. R is given to me, sir. Time is given to me, sir. Now end of the day, I'm asking you, how much amount will you get? How much amount will you get? Now will how will you tell, sir? You did not give me a principal, you did not give me amount, you did not give me any data. How will you tell? Now, for that, let me ask one small question again. Okay, what is the question, sir? Let me take a new sheet. Question will come back later, anyways. Okay, so see the hundred rupees what you invest initially is called as the principal. Principal is it the hundred percent amount what you have? This is what I have, sir. Hundred percent. I don't have more than this. I have hundred rupees. That is the hundred percent investment what I have, sir. First question you gave me that rate of interest is going to be ten percent. Yes. And you said that I am going to invest it for a duration of one year time period. Yes. Sir, end of the day, I am going to get an amount of 110 rupees. This is what I calculated, sir. Yes. Now, what is this R rate of interest? What is T time? What is R into T? That is going to be 10 into 1. That is nothing but 10 percentage. That is nothing but your simple interest percentage. This is what the interest component percentage we got. Yes. Now, can I tell, sir, simple interest percentage is 10%. My principal is 100%. Amount what I am going to get is going to be 110%. How, oh, sir? Sir, your amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest. What is your principal? 100%. What is a simple interest component? 10%. What is that thing going to be? 110%. So, what is the benefit out of this? Benefit will see. Imagine your principal is 7000 rupees. I am asking what is going to be your amount, what you are going to get. Now what I said, sir, your principal is always considered to be 100%. You are having 7,000 rupees to deposit 7,000 rupees. Rate of interest 10%, time period 1 year, the simple interest percentage is 10%. End of the day, you are going to get 110%. Right? You are going to get 110%. Sir, what is 110%? Sir? 100% plus 10% is going to give you 110%. What is 10%, sir? What 10% of 7000 that is going to be 700. 700 plus 7000 is going to be 7700. Now you don't tell, sir. Instead of this, my simple interest formula itself is PDR over 100. Yes, it is not PDR over 100. But my own job is to eliminate you using this in your competitive exam. Okay. Just go with some simple logics and you can solve it. Okay. How to go about it? Now we start. Okay, your amount is nothing but your principal plus simple interest compound. This is what we learned. Okay, if this is clear, now let us start with your actual problem. Okay, let us come to the first type of question. What is the question given? Find the simple interest and amount. Find the simple interest and amount for a sum of rupees 12,000. At 8% per annum for a duration of 4 years. For a sum. For a sum means this is called as the principal. So what is given? Principal is 12,000. Sir. At R is 8%. Okay, sir. Time duration is 4 years. Okay, sir. Okay. Now what I say? Sir, we need to find a simple interest. And we need to find out. We would have given you options. Don't worry. Now, what I said, simple interest percentage. Sir, so what is simple interest percentage? 
multiplying what is r into t it is going to be 8 into 4 that is 32 percentage so simply it is percentage is 32 percentage let me write it properly percentage. Now what you know sir, you said my principal is always 100% sir. Very good. So it means 100% principal is 12,000. Yes sir. Then what do you want to find for this simple interest? What is 32% value? Use your calculator to finish it out. What will become 32 into 12,000 divided by 100. 0, 0 cancels. What is 32 into 120? Find out the answer. You will get the so quickly. What is the answer? Quickly do it. Since you're using a calculator, I'm just using your calculators and telling you 3840 is your simple interest. Simple interest. Simple interest. Now, what I'm asking next question, what is the amount? Now you'll tell, sir, amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest, sir. That is nothing but 12,000 plus 3840. That's going to be 15,840. Very good. Give it up. Now what happened? Have you remembered your formula? What you know? Sir, whatever interest I am going to get from Bob, sir. Whatever interest I am going to get, how many years I am going to invest. Whatever bank is giving, that I am going to multiply, sir. That is my interest, sir. End of the day, I am going to get. That interest I will find out, sir. After that, I will add it with my principal, sir. That is the amount what I am going to get at end of four years. Fair enough. This is what is basic idea. Now let us go to the next question find the simple interest and amount for a sum of rupees 8000 at 8 percent at 10 percent for a duration of four years what is principal 8000 what is this considered as 100 percent what is rate of interest 10 percent what is the time duration four years what is simple interest percentage it's going to be 10 into 4 that is 40 percentage sir if 100 percent is 8000 what is 40 percent value 40 into 80 40 into 8000 divided by 100 0 0 cancels 4 into 8 becomes 32 3200 this becomes the simple interest if this is the simple interest what becomes the amount becomes 8000 plus 3200 that becomes 11000 right then that is against will you be able to solve it yes absolutely have you used any formulas no sir no you tell sir basic question without formula i will do how will you do other problems go, go. i will teach you simple interest it should be within 30 seconds okay <laughs> okay great next find the simple interest and amount for a sum of rupees 25000 at 13.5 percent for a duration of Two years eight months whenever the time is given in terms of years and months convert it everything to years this is the first step what do you do sir two years eight months what you can write sir eight months out of 12 months eight divided by 12 what is it going to be yes simplify it tell me this will be two times this will be three times two two by three or until two into three six sir 6 plus 2, 8, sir, 8 by 3 years. Right? 8 by 3 years. Fine. Good enough. Next, what will you do? Sir, next video will show us. 25,000 is the principal that is 100%. Rate of interest is 13.5%. For how much duration? Time is given as 8 by 3 years. 8 by 3 years. Fine. Next, what we should do? Sir, 13.5 into 8 by 3. How much is it, sir? Find it out. That will be your simple interest percentage. That will be 13.5 into 8 divided by 3 becomes 36 percentage. 36 percentage simple interest. This is 36 percentage. What is 36 percentage value you need to find? It becomes 36 into 25,000 divided by 100, 0, 0 cancels. So 36 into 250 becomes how much? 9,000 rupees. This is nothing but your simple interest. 
This is a simple interest. What becomes your amount? Amount is nothing but twenty-five thousand plus nine thousand. That is nothing but thirty-four thousand. Right. Everything with your basic approach. I haven't done even one bit of formula. So now the question will be, sir, can't I solve it with formula? Yes, you can solve. But make sure thirty seconds is your deadline. Keep a time. Solve it. If you are able to solve it, use it. If you are not able to solve it, follow it. Okay. Some people will be so many months I have been learning that. How will I shift to this? Try once. It's not happening now. Don't watch it. Okay. I hundred percent guarantee that if you watch it, you won't again need to watch this again. You will remember it so clear. It's my guarantee. Okay. Next question. Find the simple interest and amount for a sum of rupees thirty thousand and eight point five percent for a duration of six years and three months. First time, six years, three months will be divided by three by twelve. That will become one by four. That becomes six into four is twenty four. Twenty five by four years. Time twenty five by four years. If this is okay, then principal what is becoming thirty thousand becoming hundred percent. 8.5 for so much R is nothing but 8.5 percentage. What is 8.5 into 25 by 4? 8.5 into 25 divided by 4. 53.125 percentage. 125 percentage. So this becomes how much into 30,000 divided by 100. It becomes fifteen thousand nine thirty seven point five rupees. That is nothing but your simple interest. This is your simple interest. What becomes your amount? Amount becomes forty five thousand nine thirty seven point five rupees. Now what did I do? I am just skipping steps. Skipping steps. Now since you know the logic, just multiply it and finish it and finish with the logic. Not much more. Faster. Okay. Stay tuned. The magic still is remaining. What is going to come will be mind blowing. Okay. So okay. So this is this clear? Next go to the next part. Find the sum of money which amounts to rupees three thousand seven twenty in four years at six percent per annum interest. Until now, what did they ask us? They asked us to find out simple interest and amount. Giving principal was given. Now what are they asking? Find the sum. Means they are asking us to find principal, which amounts to rupees three thousand seven twenty. What is amounts to? With amounts to rupees three thousand seven twenty in four years at six percent per annum simple interest, amounts to मतलब the amount amount is given to you. Amount is three thousand seven twenty. Time period is four years. Rate of interest is six percent. Now you will tell sir how to solve this one. You tell. Don't worry, same method only. What is T into R? Simple interest percentage. What is that? Six into four is twenty-four percentage. What is always the principal considered to be hundred percent? What is simple interest percentage? You got twenty-four percent. Obviously, what will be the amount? That will be one twenty-four percent. Yes or no? Hundred plus twenty-four percent, one twenty-four percent. That is your amount. Now what is given to you, sir? One twenty-four percent is nothing but three seven two zero. Yes or no? Uh, what you want to find principal? What is principal? Hundred percent. What is hundred percent value? Cross multiply hundred into three thousand seven twenty. Use your calculators directly. Do not write it. Okay. Yes. Simple. Waste of time. Okay. So hundred into three thousand seven. Twenty divided by one twenty four that becomes three thousand rupees. Principal is nothing but three thousand. Right? What happened? We took the amount. Time was given. Rate of interest was given. Simple interest percentage is twenty four percent. That is twenty four percent. We know one twenty four percent is nothing but amount. That is nothing but three seven two zero hundred percent value is how much? Find out the answer that becomes thousand. Easy. We will use any formulas. Uh, logic yes. Next, the sum fetched a total simple interest of rupees three thousand two hundred. Be very careful with the words over here. 
a sum fetched a total simple interest of rupees 3200 at 6.25 percentage per annum four years what is the sum they are asking us to find principal okay, well and what is given to us simple interest is given as 3200 not the rate is given as 6.25 percentage time is given as four years so should i follow the same method yes absolutely what is r into t that is your simple interest percentage that is nothing but 6.25 into 4 6 into 4 24.25 into 4 is 1 that is going to be 25 percentage 25 percentage now this 25 percentage what will you do sir 25 percentage is it equal to 3200 yes absolutely that is a simple interest what do we want to find 100 percent value that is your principal so 100 into 3200 divided by 25 how much is it going to be 12,800 so the principal was 12,800 yeah did you do anything same thing yes. pure logic pure logic that's it you know principal is 100 percent simple interest you know amount you know everything you know you can start solving the question did it take much time no. A certain sum of money amounts to rupees 650 in 6 years at 5% per annum. Find the sum. Okay. So, what are they asking again? Sir, principal we need to find. Very good. It amounts to how much? Rupees 650. What is given? Amount is given. 650. In how many years? In 6 years. At what percentage? 5 percentage per annum find the sum principal they asking you to find now what will you do sir same step sir yes what is 6 into 5 that becomes simple interest percentage that becomes 30 percentage if principal simple interest amount principal is 100 percentage simple interest is 30 percentage amount is nothing but 130 percentage what is given 130 percentage is nothing but 650 they want us to find 100 percentage that is nothing but how much 100 into 650 divided by 130 0, 0 cancels 13 will go 5 times 50 times this becomes 500 principal was rupees 500 right did it take much time no did i use any formula no I hope until now you are enjoying the session and you like the way the sums are being sought. In case if you like it, please do subscribe and do like the video and share it to maximum people so that they also benefit out of the video. Okay. So don't worry, stay tuned. We'll be helping you all with much more problems. Also. Okay. Next question. A certain sum of money amounts to rupees 89,600. What is given amounts to? rupees 89,600 in 5 years at 8% per annum. So R is given and T is given. What is R into T? That is going to be simple interest percentage. That is nothing but 40 percentage. Right? So now what do we want to find? Principal. Find out the principal. Principal is nothing but 100%. What is 40 percent? Simple interest. What is becoming amount? 140 percent. It is nothing but 89,600. So what is principal? 100%. Find out this value. So 89,600 into 100 divided by 140. It's going to be 64,000. Principal was rupees 64. Is that right? 30 seconds. Did I keep up my word? Under 30 seconds? Yes. So even you can solve it within 10 seconds also. Now you will ask me, sir, what is the benefit of having a lot of time to solve? Yes, you have a lot of time to solve. What you do is, what in all section is your strong points? Make a point of it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. What in all formulas do I need to remember? Make a list of it. Right now. In that, maximum formula will be from this particular topic called as mathematics of finance or time value of money, whatever it is. Eliminate all the formats from here. The maximum thing will be done. 
Okay. Sir, does it mean like I do not re require to remember any formula again? You have to remember certain formulas, but yes, basic things. Here and there, I will make sure that you need not remember maximum things. Okay. Not only for this topic, most of the topics in your mathematics. Okay. Okay, great. Let's go to the next problem. What is the sum of money amounts to rupees 370 at 8% per annum 6, six years? Amount is 370. R is 8%. Time is 6 years. R into T becomes simple interest percentage. That is nothing but 86 are 48 percentage. So 148 percentage is nothing but 370. What is 100% value? Need to find. So 100 into 370 divided by 148. 100 into 370 divided by 148. That's what we 250. So principal was rupees 250. Wasn't difficult? No. Do we need to write all these steps? Obviously, there is no marks for writing steps in exam. It's not your school level, this is a competitive exam. So obviously, make sure that you get maximum marks over here so you clear your CA foundation in a spot easily, instantaneously. Okay. Next one. Find the simple interest rate per annum if rupees 8000 amounts to rupees 10,000 in two years. Now what are they asking, sir? Until now you asked me simple interest, okay. You asked me amount, okay. You asked me principal, okay. Now you are asking me R also, sir. Yes. Asking you to find R. What is given? Find the simple interest rate per annum if rupees 8000 amounts to rupees 10,000. What is happening? You invested 8000 in bank. It has become 10,000 in two years. What is the interest they are asking? Okay, no problem. Principal is 8000. Amount has become 10,000. Right? Time was 2 years. Okay. Great. Then what do you want? Sir, now I want to find R. How do you want to proceed further? What is there, sir? Solve it and do it simply now. You get the answer easily. Don't worry. We will do that also. Now, 8000 has become 10,000. Yes or no? In between, the time is 2 years. Yes or no? Yes. From 8,000 to 2,000, what is the difference? 2,000. Yes, sir. What is this 2,000? Simple interest. Yes or no? 8,000 plus simple interest 2,000 makes it 10,000 amount. Principal? No. Oh. Great. Very good. Now this 2000 you got for how many years? Sir, 2 years. Sir, 2 years means same rate of interest. No, sir. It means for 1 year I got rupees 1000. Very good. 1 year, simple interest you got this 1000 rupees. Now this 1000 rupees on what principal I got? 8000. Into 100. That's all done. 0, 0 cancels. 1 by 8 is nothing but 12.5 percentage. Rate of interest is 12.5 percentage. What done? Did you do any formula here? Rupees 8000 became 10,000. In how many years? In 2 years. What is the difference between them? 2000. This 2000 simple interest in how many years you got? In 2 years. 2 years. 2000. It means one year I got rupees thousand. Each year I got rupees thousand, thousand rupees extra. This thousand rupees on what principal I got rupees eight thousand. It is depend on this. So thousand by eight thousand into hundred. That's all done. That is nothing but twelve point five percent divided and see in your calculators quickly. Right? Correct? I'm not cheating. Twelve point five percent. Was it easy? Did I use any formulas? No, no formulas. Okay. We will eliminate it completely. Next question. Find the simple interest rate if rupees 6000 amounts to rupees 9780 in 7 years. What is the first step, sir? 6000 is becoming 
9780 in 7 years very good sir what is the difference between them sir 3780 <coughs> right this 3780 in how many years you are getting in 7 years it means 3780 divided by 7 will give you each year thing or you can put it this way also if you want no problem for 7 years i am getting 3780 For one year, how much I get to ask multiply and do it anyways? Three thousand seven eighty divided by seven becomes five forty. For one year, you will get five forty as interest. Five forty as interest. This rupees five forty of interest on which you are getting on six thousand rupees. So it becomes five forty divided by six thousand into two hundred. That's all done. Zero zero cancels. Six will go. Six eights are. Six nines are fifty-four. Six sixty-nines are fifty-four. Becomes that's nine percentage. R is nothing but nine percentage done. Done and dusted. Calculations nine into seven is how much? Nine seven is sixty-three percentage. What is sixty-three percent of six thousand three thousand seven eighty? Fair enough. Getting the concept. Did I use any formulas? No formulas. I'm keeping up my words. You have to keep up your word. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. Please do share the video to your friends so they will love it. And in case you love it, please do. Do it. Okay. Okay. Next question. In what time rupees fifteen thousand amounts to rupees twenty-seven thousand at five percent per annum? Sir, until now you asked our our guarantee, sir. Don't worry. Same principle only. Sir, fifteen thousand is happening as twenty-seven thousand, but I don't know in how many years. Sir. But they're telling the rate of interest is five percent. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Now what is happening, sir? From fifteen thousand to twenty-seven thousand, what is the difference, sir? Twelve thousand. Hmm. Twelve thousand. Sir, now this twelve thousand is nothing but simple interest. Yes or no? Simple interest component. Simple interest component. Now the simple interest component. How we got sir? Sir, R into T gave me simple interest sir. Yes. R into T gave you simple interest percentage. Yes. That percentage is nothing but so much something you got the value also here. Yes sir. So what should we do sir now? Yes, you should do the same thing only. What will you do, sir? R into T is going to give you so much return. Okay, so can I find it on that? So you can do that. Else, what I can do, sir? Sir, this is hundred percent, sir. Hundred percent, sir. So this will become like how much, sir? Sir, twelve thousand by fifteen thousand will I get me some answer, sir? Yes, sir. Try it out, sir. What will it be, sir? Twelve thousand divided by fifteen thousand, sir. Become Eight point eight into hundred that become eighty percent, right? Twelve thousand divided by fifteen thousand into hundred will give you how much? Eighty percent each. This is total simple interest. What you want, sir? Total simple interest, sir. But for how many years? I don't know, sir. Now, how to find how many years, sir? Sir, simple interest total is eighty percent. 80 divided by 5 will give me how much? Sir? 80 divided by 5 is nothing but 16 years. Sir, what did you do, sir? From 15 to 27,000, what is the difference? 12,000. For this entire 12,000, how much is the interest that you have got? 80 percent simple interest you have got. But in how many years? You know the rate of interest per year 5 percent and get it. It means every year 5 5 percent adding. So sixteen years is what the time takes. Did I do any formula? Or same method? Easy. Okay. If this is clear, then let's go to the next question. In what time rupees fifteen thousand amounts to rupees twenty seven thousand at five percent per annum? Simple interest. Okay, the same question. Same question. Okay. Let's go to the next question. 
rupees 6000 amounts to rupees 9000 in 5 years simple interest what is the rate of interest okay right 6000 amounts to rupees 9000 in how many years 5 years what is the rate they are asking what is the difference here 3000 sir this 3000 i am getting in 5 years it means 3000 divide by 5 i will give get almost 600 rupees per year 600 per year i am getting as interest interest simple interest that 600 what is the rate i have to find 600 divided by 6000 into 100 will become how much sir 600 passing but 10 times is nothing but 10 times divided but 10 percentage rate of interest is 10 percentage khatam khatam that's it done is it thing right drop your comments below show your love we'll be motivated to bring in a lot of wonderful content and make you people crack any exam literally in a fraction of seconds okay any exam you can crack if you just practice a little bit you can crack any exams trust us trust it is not so difficult just the way you express it the way you find out the solution going Sudden sum of money doubles itself. This is the next type of question which most of the students get. A lot of this. How to do this? Like struggling with this. Don't worry. Not here of this. Sudden sum of money doubles itself in six years as per simple interest. In what time will it become four times of itself? Okay, sudden sum of money doubles itself in six years. In what time will it become four times of itself? What I said, sir. Always principal is 100%. What are they telling? Certain sum of money means principal doubles itself. Means what is my doubling? 200% doubles itself in how many years? In 6 years. In what time will it become 4 times of itself? What are they asking? Sir, in what time will 100% become 4 times means 400%? Very good. From 100 to 200, what is the difference? 100 percent. Clear? Sir, for 100 percent change, it has taken 6 years. Yes or no? For 100 percent change, it has taken 6 years. Great. 100 to 400, what is the difference? 300 percent. Sir, for 100% change, 6 years, 300% change, how many years, sir? 300 into 6 divided by 100, that is nothing but 18 years. Was this difficult? This is the most easiest problem to solve. No formula, no nothing. The same logic, whatever you used earlier, will be used to it. In order to do 100%, 6 years was. 2 to 300%, how many years? 18 years, that's it, done. Math is easy. The only thing is we don't practice. Practice, you will find it wonderfully easy. Okay. Next one. A certain sum of money triples itself in five years. Triples itself in five years. Okay. Hundred percent is becoming three hundred percent in how many years? In five years. In how many years will it become five times of itself? Hundred percent in how many years will it become? 500% is the question. Right? Next, what is happening, sir? From 100 to 300%, it is becoming 200% difference. This is a point, sir. Sir, 200% in 5 years. Very good. In 1 year, what is happening, sir? Let us find out 1 year also. Don't worry. 1 year will become 40%. 1 year, 40%. Wonderful, sir. Okay, 1 year. 40%. 5 years, 200%, 1 year, 40%. That's all. Here to here, what is the change? 400%. So, now what to do, sir? Don't worry. 1 year, 40%. 400%, how many years? It becomes 40 into 10 becomes 400. 10 years. 40 into 10 is 10. This into 10 becomes 10 years. That's all done. 10 years. 10 years. 
Yes or no? Or you can also do this way, man. Easy. Sir, 200% 5 years. Obviously, 400 is nothing but double of 5 minutes, it will become 10 years. This also you can do. Whichever is easy for you, solve it. But do not take more than 30 seconds for each problem. Hope these concepts are getting crystal clear for you people and you won't be able to and you won't require to remember any formulas here after this for this particular term. Next one, a certain sum of money becomes four times of itself in 15 years. Okay. So 100% becomes 400% in how many years? 15 years. In how many years will it become eight times of itself? Okay, 100% in how many years will it becomes 800%? The difference over here is 300 percent. The difference over here is 700 percent. Fine. Next, what will happen, sir? 300 percent is happening in 15 years. Okay. So it means one year there is a change of 20 percent. One year there is a change of 20 percent. Here it is almost like 700 percent, sir. Fine. 700 percent in how many years will it become so it becomes 700 divided by 20 what is 700 divided by 20 this this goes this becomes 35 years 35 years 2 into 35 70 years is it difficult absolutely not absolutely not it is very very easy easy problems so hope this concept is getting much more better. There is no verification. So you can do this also. 15 is 300 percent. 100 percent becomes how much? 5 years. So 7 into 5 becomes how much? 35 years. Right? One question you can solve it in multiple ways. No problem using a logical approach. Next question. A certain sum of money becomes 3.5 times of itself in 10 years. 100% becomes 350% in how many years? 10 years. 3.5 also you can do something. Yes, I can do anything. No problem. How many years it becomes 8.5% becomes 850% age. This is becoming how much? 250% age. This is becoming how much? 750% age. So what is happening now? Sir, 250% in 10 years. Yes, sir. 10 years. So, one year, how much is it happening, sir? In one year, it is happening 25 percentage. One year, 25 percentage. Right. Sir, then 750 percentage means how much, sir? 750 divided by 25, that will become 25 into 30, that becomes 30 years. Or what you can do, sir? 250 in 10 years. 250 into 3 is nothing but 750. 30 years. 10 into 3 is nothing but 30 years. Do that or do this. Anyways, we'll get the next. Okay, one last question. Okay. So the sum of money becomes 1.5 times of itself in 7.5 years. Okay, 100% becomes 150% in 7.5 years. In how many years will it become 4.5 times of itself? It becomes 450% of itself. So here it is becoming 50% change, here it is becoming 350% change. 50% is happening in 7.5 years. 50% okay. is happening in 7.5 years. So it means 50 is becoming how much? Into 7. 5 into 7 is nothing but 35, it is nothing but 350%. Obviously 7.5 into 7 will become how much? 49. And 5 7 are 35, 52.5. 52.5 years. Is it clear? Crystal clear? If this concept is very clear for you, well, I would love to see your responses down in the comment below. I will come up with the next set of videos to help you out in order to crack your exams. Very easy. Stay tuned. Until next time. Take care. Fine.